Happy Wednesday night, the 20th of January. Um, what else? It's the 20th of January. Well, we're making it pretty far with uh, a mild winter, I dare say. We would like to see it keep going. Um, what am I? Oh! Today is my birthday, not physical birthday. I know you all get excited, that's July 9th. But uh, this is my birthday, it's been six years and I have not had a drink. But I was too attached to it. And now it's been six years. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but I mean, the nice thing about it gets better every day. Talk about a clear mind. <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> how clear your mind gets if you get alcohol out of the way or any other drugs. Um, just love it. It's, it's, it's so fun to remember things. <laughs> and I forget things too sometimes, but not much. So that's mentioned that. Um, also, for what we pray for tonight, Couple things we want to keep in mind here in Hankison for the families that maybe were, were displaced by the um, fire the other night in Hankison, the county garage, uh, the county workers, uh, any families, uh, any anything they're experiencing in regards to the uh, Hankison fire, we're praying for all those involved and for all those who've been um, um, uh, disrupted. I guess I put it that way, in any way. I'm going to keep them in our prayers. I also want to pray for uh, uh, Marlon and Vicky's, Marlon's dad, Marvin Crump. Uh, they want your prayers for him. He's He was in the hospital in Fargo for a few days, and now sometime today or tonight or tomorrow, he's on his way to Abbott Northwestern, Minneapolis, because they need to do surgery on things to do with his heart and stints. And... Uh, the doctor in Fargo didn't think that he was qualified enough or whatever, safe enough to go in there. So they're transferring him, uh, Marvin, to uh, Abbott Northwestern, uh, where he is supposedly going to have this surgery. So you, I know Marvin really would like your prayers and for his dad's well-being, and I know the whole family would. So we want to keep him in our prayers. And we also want to pray for your needs and intentions on this uh, special day, of course, obviously, it's uh, Inauguration Day, so we pray for our government, our former president and vice president, and, and our new president and vice president, and new members of Congress, of representatives and senators, and so on. Keep them all in our prayers now. To, for that God will work through our country still. Um, as long as we keep praying, God can do something. So we want to keep praying. In, our hope is in Jesus who can conquer all things. And our hope is in Jesus who will conquer all things. So I remember that. He will conquer all things. In your other prayers for your family, relatives, friends, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, spouse, um, aunts, uncles, parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, so on. All their prayers, all their needs, we want to keep them in prayer. And um, for those living on this earth and those that have gone on before us. And uh, we pray for everybody. And we pray for the needs of the church in this day and age. There's a lot of needs of the church we need to pray for. A lot of um, issues, as you know, in the church constantly need our prayers. Pray for our Holy Father and for our Bishop John. Who else do we gather in prayer for? The holy souls of purgatory, especially those who are in most in need of our prayers. And the only one that knows that is God, unless he wants somebody else to know too, but um, God knows who's most in need of our prayers. And so we turn that over to God saying we, we want to pray for that the holy souls in purgatory and that they will pray for us.
So that being said, I think we covered everything. Um, let's see, I, I think so. Maybe. Yeah, we got prayers for Marvin in there. And uh, so all that for the government and my six year birthday of sobriety. So like I say, your prayers, your personal prayers, are, should be deep in each of our hearts. And uh, we want to remember those and pray for that too. So without further ado, let's start our net prayer. Lord God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> this is Psalm 31, a trustful prayer in time of adversity. You know, trusting in God. Trust, 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 trust. You know, today when I, this is just, I was having physical therapy and they're moving his shoulder all over and they just have to relax. You know, very, just like a wet rag. But what I thought of tonight too was, uh, I kept saying, Jesus, I trust in you. And then I thought of, uh, you know how God formed us out of the dirt of the earth? And I thought, just pretend that this is Jesus forming your new shoulder and let him do what he needs to do. And it works. It makes, you know, it doesn't hurt as bad. Knowing that he's recreating me. So, trustful prayer in time of adversity. Lord God, be my refuge and my strength. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold, and save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Release me from the snares they have hidden, for you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, be my refuge and my strength. Psalm 130, out of the depths, he will save his people from their sins. Out of the depths, I cry to you, Lord. Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. A letter from St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 26 to 27. Do not let resentment lead you into sin. The sunset must not find you still angry. Do not give the devil his opportunity. Do not let resentment lead you into sin. That can happen so easy nowadays. We get caught up in political things and other things and uh, <clears throat> there's no dialogue anymore. You know, like, People can hold different positions, different sides of an issue, and discuss it. But now it's like, how dare you disagree with me? And then 
we hold resentments, and resentment leads to sin, and sin leads to disharmony, and disharmony leads to war in the heart, and war in the heart leads to war in the family. War in the family leads to war in the community. War in the, war in the community leads to war in the state. War in the state leads to war in the nation. In other cases, the stage, we don't have to go further than that because it's already here. So let us work um, to not let resentment lead you into sin. Do not give the devil a chance to work on you. Remember that. At the end of the day, let go of everything. Surrender to Jesus, and he will do everything for you. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. That awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have given your followers an example of gentleness and humility, a task that is easy, a burden that is light. Accept the prayers and work of this day and give us the rest that will strengthen us to render more faithful service to you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful end. And now we have a beautiful... Uh, Salve Regina, which is what it is in Latin, means Hail Holy Queen. And that is the traditional hymn to Mary at night prayer tonight. So let's, let's, let's have, listen to the choir, this cathedral choir, uh, sing for us the Salve Regina. It's beautiful, just beautiful. Getting it open here. There we go.
Wow, wasn't that powerful? I just love those photos they had. That's powerful. That's the, that is the, the traditional marrying him for night prayer. Salve Regina, Hail Holy Queen. In fact, if you like it, uh, let me know. I can play it every night if you want. It's just a beautiful hymn and beautiful pictures to go with it. So that's my vote. Let's see what you think. <laughs> we want to hear what you have to say. Okay, so tomorrow night is Thursday night, the night of holiness in night prayer. That's our day of holiness. Uh, the, the God comes to us in the calm of his spirit and helps us grow in holiness of life. So, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord, and we'll see you tomorrow night, Thursday, evening of holiness at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless you now. Have a good night.